when a seven chord is played, you want to know where it's leading you. And, and the reason is where it's leading you will, will determine what kind of alteration you can use. You have the A minor, A minus six in this case. B half diminished, if I'm gonna play G, uh, E7 sharp five, it leads you very nicely to the minor. Here I'm playing a sharp five flat nine. Let me go to an A minor nine. In terms of like, it's a new song, you playing it, here comes the two dominant. Avoid the sharp five, the flat nine, or the sharp nine. What works well is the 13 or the flat five. Or the nine with the sharp five. Or the 13 with the nine. And the, the 13 to the, to the flat five. It's a very nice progression. With the minor, you have the options, you have uh, uh, more options of color notes than the, than the major. The bridge is A minus six, two, five, back to F minus six. So I'm gonna just take this example, and I'm gonna use those different variations. You know, it gives you nice colors. Those color notes for the minor, introduce the minor in a way that is more distinct than just a minor seven. If you are always playing all the chords, it sounds too busy sometimes, you know, and you listen to the accompanist, you don't see them playing all the chords that are in the lead sheet. So I might just say. Now just the five to take me to G minor. So by understanding the harmonic progression, you're actually allowing yourself to make choices that are not on the page, but still fulfill the, the progression that is supposed to be played there.